Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. People are up against the wall right now. I talk to hundreds of people each week, whether it's by text message, email, or even on the phone. And I'm finding that people are being pushed about as hard as they can be pushed. Remember that movie years and years ago? Some of you people a little bit older will remember this. It was called Network. The guy yelling out the window says, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. That's where people are right now. They're mad as hell and they don't want to take it anymore. And what's causing it is our thoughts that we have to keep up. Our thoughts that we have to be on top of our game. Our thoughts that we're not doing enough. Our thoughts that we have to know more. Our thoughts that maybe if we just do one more thing, it's going to solve everything. And here's what's happening. Because everyone is too busy whether it's with kids and soccer practice, going to drama class or art classes on top of school, or maybe we're taking yoga and dance classes and we're swimming on the side just to get some exercise, or maybe we're taking a class ourselves to learn new skills because we've lost our job, and we're working two jobs to keep up what used to be one job, where our, our spouses, our marriages are falling apart, our kids are falling apart, our homes are falling apart, and our society is falling apart because we are not managing the store. And what that means is, I want you to really, really look at all the things you're doing during a day. And what are the things that you can let go of now that aren't going to make that much difference? So you can come back home, so you can calm down yourself. So every time one of your children say something, you don't scream at them. Maybe your spouse is in a bad mood and it just ticks you off because you are too and you don't feel appreciated. That's a symptom of overload. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. I've heard that so many times over the last couple of weeks. We're getting to a point right now, a boiling point in our own society with all the stuff that we're hearing about on the news and reading about. It's really having a deep, deep emotional effect on people. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to realize, and you've heard me say this before, but you've got to get this, that the news on TV, the radio, and even the newspaper is a commercial enterprise. If it's not sensationalized, exaggerated, blown up out of proportion and beaten to death, they're not making any money. And it's getting worse and worse because they're losing advertisers to the internet over and over again. And they're having to make up for it by over-dramatizing. Some of the programs on TV are over-dramatic or over-exaggerated. And you ever notice your television, how loud it is when it's on? Even the commercials are yelling at you. The game shows are yelling at you. People are just yelling. It's because our sensitivity to things has become so low that if you're not screaming at someone, no one hears it. This is having a dramatic effect on our nervous system. Today, I want you to make a list of all the things you're doing that you can let go of that just aren't that important and learn how to calm down in your home, in your marriage, and in your business because your mind depends on it. Today, there's more information coming at us than ever before and we do not have to know all of it. What you gotta know is what's in the moment right now, what you can do right now, this moment here, to affect your life in a very positive way. What's gonna happen 10 minutes from now really doesn't matter because that's 10 minutes from now. This moment right here is gonna affect it. You've got to get that message. You hear me say it all the time, and I think many people just kind of blow it off. It's the truth. It's easy to get caught up in the drama of life. It's easy to get caught up in the drama of the media and all the noise out there. It's time to quiet down and go hug a redwood tree, really. It's time to get out in nature, really, and calm down and start filtering out some of the things that not only go in your head, but some of the things you're doing each day. It's funny, when I talk to people, what makes you the happiest? What is one of the things you really look forward to? You know what they say? This is how pathetic it's got to be. I just love a day where I have nothing to do, so I can just sit there. What that says is, people are pushing too hard. What that means is, you can just have a day where you do that. Why don't you choose to do that and plan for that and make that happen. In fact, make that happen a little bit each day. 
because our mind depends on it. So it can collect its thoughts and filter out and store all that information that's in there. That's how come we're forgetting things now. It's not that something's wrong with you. There's just too much on your conscious mind. Today, it's throttle back time. Let's throttle back a little bit. Let's evaluate all these extracurricular activities. Let's look at all the news, all the news feeds, all the text messaging, all the emails, and let's start filtering things a little bit. Let's not be quite so accessible to people. Let's be more accessible to ourselves first, our kids, and our loved ones. And let the rest of this stuff go. The world's going to survive. I believe in 2012 it's going to be just another day, another year. And I think we're all going to be okay if we'll take care of today. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you to breathe, slow down, and get out that list and start scratching things off. Bye-bye.